there's lots of opportunities here in our region. But you get to choose. And what today is about in manufacturing your future is to give you an idea of what those options are. We thought it was a great opportunity to bring 10th graders from Columbiana County uh, into our facility, uh, see what we have to offer. They're going to be touring our precision machining and welding labs today, and they're going to hear a little bit from our instructors. They are heading to six different sites, uh, three buses taking the students around to manufacturing facilities in Columbiana County so that the students can get a first-hand look at uh, what career opportunities are available from entry level to um, computer design and uh, all the way up to uh, administrative jobs and uh, folks with four-year degrees. You know, these are our future leaders, uh, whether it's in the workforce or, or uh, community leaders, business leaders, politics. Uh, we got to give these young people every opportunity uh, that we can to, uh, to get off to a good start. Not every child, not every young person wants to go to a four-year college, uh, you know, working with their hands, going into a, a trade, uh, learning a skill. Uh, that's what today is all about, is to let them know that there are options out there. You know, we got 10,000 Americans retiring every single day. We got a workforce issue that's not going to go away anytime soon. We need these young people to, to finish up their education here and, uh, and be able to pursue their dreams and ambitions on their own terms, but we need them in the workforce. You were telling me um, that you plan, at least at this point, to go to North Carolina, four-year degree, and then law school. Yeah, uh, I think with law school, it's something recently, I haven't been like planning it my whole life. I uh, just recently thought about it. But coming here, because I'm not 100% sure on anything, I can see other jobs and possibly come to the Career Center and get a job more than minimum wage to help pay for all that. Or I could completely switch up and come to manufacturing or any of that, which this provides me the opportunities. We worked very closely with the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition um, to develop and expand our network of local manufacturers that could potentially hire our students. Uh, we most recently implemented a program called What's Your E? and we encourage each student within their first month of school here at the Career Center to um, set some goals, whether they want to be enrolled, employed, or enlisted, and then we help set them on that path and provide the supports. So obviously they, you know, change their mind and uh, may decide to take another pathway, but as far as our uh, precision machining program, we uh, participated in a pilot program last summer where our students that were in precision machining that had earned NIMS credentials were able to apply for positions for a pre-apprenticeship between their junior and senior year. We had a couple of students take part in that. It worked very, very well. They worked at Butech Bliss in Salem and uh, they're back here now as seniors. They are earning additional credentials and then when they go right into the workforce they'll be ahead of folks that are in the apprenticeship program for adults. So uh, we're looking to expand that into our welding program this year and give students more, op more opportunities. We are showing folks that there are plenty of good opportunities locally here. You don't have to leave Columbiana County to have a fulfilling career that gives you dignity and pays a good wage. You can get training right here that will allow you to stay here and, and have a successful, fulfilled life.